Howdy folks. So yes, the moment that I have been waiting for actually. See, when I got back from Japan, the car, well in case you're wondering, if you can tell by the seats, the Alfa Romeo Alfetta was waiting for me at home and after two weeks, she started up. And so now I'm over here at M1 Performance. I just picked up the car because I got some stuff done to it. I put some grounding cable. Now old cars really benefit from five point grounding cable. So if you have an old car, get it done. So it's time to drive home. So I thought you'd like to join me for the drive back. Oh yeah. You know, this car has one of those sounds with that no matter what, if you're just trying to like, maybe just start it up, just to warm it up a little bit, this kind of sound makes you want to go for a drive. It really, really does. And uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do in just a moment. Yes, she's sounding very, very nice. There's something about these old Italian four-cylinder raspy She's alive. She's alive! Oh, I'm so happy. Really. Uh, the previous owner uh, who had the car for eight years before I took it back from him because I actually I told him eight years ago that if he ever wanted to sell it, uh, please let me know. And he did. So thank you, William. I'm very, very happy to get this car back. And let me just angle this a little bit better so you can... Yeah, there we go. tells me it's alive now okay like let's not um, forget one thing okay it's just a two liter uh, four cylinder engine that's 40 years old I just passed the cop car and waved at him because this used to be a cop car <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the scary thing is that a lot of people come very very close to have a better look and yeah that kind of freaks me out sometimes but uh, if the stairs get too much yes, yes. oh my goodness I miss driving this car <laughs> yeah. uh, that's my evil laugh by the way you can try and mimic me but uh, it takes years of practice <laughs> But anyway, so what have I done to this car so far? When I got it back, the power windows didn't work because the previous owner liked to drive with the air conditioning on and for that matter, the air conditioning is brilliant. It's really, really cold. I love it, but I'm gonna turn it off because I like to have the windows down. So I got, I got the power windows fixed, as you can see. It's like a continental drift, but uh, it will go up eventually. And uh, okay, it needs a bit of WD-40, but hey, you know what? This is all character. And I got the other window fixed as well, so yeah. The rears are wind-ups, so no problems. Wind-up windows never fail. Yes. Power. Oh man, 
brilliant. So I'm gonna pause here and I'm gonna show you the car from the outside in just a little while. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So one of the main concerns about these old Italian cars, yes, it's telling me the brake is on and the brake is there, is that they don't start up again when they're hot. So that was one of the things I had to get looked at because the last thing I want is to finish a drive and the car won't start. So let's hope it works now. Fingers crossed. The car is very hot. Okay, she works. A bit of hesitation there, but then again, she is 40 years old, folks. So, you know what? I gotta give her a little bit of a break. So let's have a look at the outside. As you can see, it's starting to rain, but there she is. Can you see that? So, yes, I'm very, very happy with the paint job. I'm not sure what color it is. I asked for gunmetal gray, but it came back like this. It's, uh, can you tell me what color this is? Because it's more like a brownish, bronzish something. But you know what? I'm not complaining. I gotta get rid of that uh, condensation in there. But uh, I don't know what color this is. Honestly, I really don't. It's like, uh, I asked for gunmetal gray, but it came back like this. And uh, you know what? I'm not complaining because it's, it's actually quite nice. Yep, I'm quite happy with this color actually. So yeah, tell me in the comments what color do you think this is? I mean, it's a little bit overcast, but uh, hmm, I'm kind of liking it actually. I don't think I'm going to get it redone because uh, this color really does seem to suit this old car really well. Remember, she's 40 years old, 1979, and I have a sneaking suspicion it used to be a, a cop car because a lot of the cop cars back then were WQ as well. So if you see me throw a wave, I mean, it's not that, there's not that many of them, so it's probably me driving. Nobody drives this car except me. And uh, like I said, those Speedline, Alfa Romeo Speedlines, original Alfa Romeo Speedlines, they belong to my late best friend Ramesh who passed away. Uh, we actually restored this car together, so I'm very happy to get this car back for sentimental reasons. Ramesh, if you're looking up, looking down from up there, we got the car back, man. So yeah, there she is. I promised you this walk around and uh, yep, here you go folks. My 1979 Alfa Romeo Alfetta. There's still some stuff to be done. Remember that day I bought the uh, ball joints. But I think as far as the body is concerned, it's all been taken care of. The interior is still nice, as you can see. And yep, I've been driving it hard. So maybe I'll check the charging. Because, uh, yeah, there was a bit of hesitation just now when I started up. So here we go. Anyway, and uh, this, I've had these since my 155, my very first Alfa Romeo. I might have sold the cars, but I've always kept the keychains. And now I get to use it again. There you go. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this update. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think. What do you think of this uh, car? What do you think of this color? Hope you like it, because I do. I was surprised at first, but it was a pleasant surprise. And there she is. Okay. So, uh, until the next one. Yeah, this is my uh, favorite Caltech station here. So I just filled up. And uh, yeah, she's ready to go. What a lovely car. I'm gonna take a picture right now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'll Talk to you all soon. You take care. It's starting to rain, so I better get out of here. Bye.